Hello everyone, Ardrum Harris from dvdscopy.com. In this video, I'm going to review for you a very nice video converter called Cuckoo Soft DVD Ripper plus Video Converter Ultimate Suite, a very long name. But this program can copy DVD movies into many various formats, such as uh, a format that will run on your iPod, your iPad, your Blackberry, uh, any portable device. For example, if you hover your mouse over the DVD icon here and look over to your left, it's telling you here that uh, once you go into this section here, Kukulsoft DVD Converter can convert a DVD to an iPod, PSP, Zoom, iPhone, a DVD to any portable device, any portable device, Convert DVD to MP4, H.264, MP3, and there are some ellipses there. Convert DVD to MPEG-1, MPEG-2, FLV, many, many video formats. Convert DVD to almost any file format. There are over to date uh, 30 popular video formats and 20 popular audio formats. And Kukosoft DVD Ripper Ultimate DVD Converter can convert between every one of those. Let's take a look at the uh, DVD section and we'll come back and look at the video section. Now the video section is, is a carving copy of DVD. The only difference between these two here is that down here where it says video, you're taking existing video files and you're converting them into those very same uh, popular uh, formats, audio and video formats. Okay. So let's go into the DVD section and take a look at that. Alright, uh, right now we're looking at the uh, graphical user interface for the DVD portion of it. And uh, we will insert a DVD movie into our PC. And I've already done that, but all you have to do is look at the quick guide. It says choose a profile. Well, it's a profile. Well, a profile is what you're going to copy or convert that DVD movie into. Where do you choose a profile? Right down here, where it says profile. Right now, it's set to convert that DVD movie into an iPod MPEG-4. So if I'd done that, I can upload that to my, my iPod or iPad and it'll play just great. Now, if you pull this down, you have many, many other formats in here that you can select. You, you can convert uh, just from iPod alone. Look at all these. Now, you probably can't see that. Let me pull this up and get it up out of the way here so you can see the whole thing. All right. Now, if I select iPod, I can convert a DVD movie into any of these iPod formats. iPhone. We have these. iPad. Zoom. Apple TV, a game device. You can cut, you can convert a DVD movie into NDS, PS3, PSP, a Wii, Xbox, Xbox 360. Let me pull that up because you probably didn't see that. Here we go. Xbox 360, your mobile phone devices, your Nokia's, your Blackberries, your Palms. Your G phones, your Samsungs, your LGs, your Motorola's, and there are more down here. I can't get them all on my screen, but I think you get the idea. Okay, um, HD video. You can convert uh, DVD movies to HD, ASF, AVI, H.264, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, QuickTime, and going off the screen, there are others here. Flash video. Convert DVD to flash video. Convert DVD to DVD, which is a video file, but it's an MPEG video file. Your various common video formats that you have over here, the common ones. And they're like one, two, three, four, and going off the screen, there's a whole bunch of them there. The common audio files, you can convert a DVD to audio MP3, AAC, AC3, MP4A, MKA, Real Audio, WMA. 
and these are all the full files. This just, that's why it's called Ultimate. Okay, let me pull this back in. I bet you get the idea of how extensive uh, this program is. Now, assuming that uh, what I want to do here is go ahead and convert that DVD movie into a iPod video format, uh, I've selected my profile as it told me to do. And there are other things here. You can crop it. I'll pull this down. You can remove the black bands that appear at the top of the video and at the bottom. Or you can just crop just the upper black band. I'll leave it at no crop. You have an aspect ratio here you, you can select. You can go stretch to full screen. I'm going to keep the original. I always like the original. And where it says output, this is where the final product or that converted video file will reside. Right now, I have mine uh, show up on the desktop. So once this process of uh, conversion is complete, I'll have a uh, MP4 file sitting on my desktop that I can upload to my iPod. Okay, now I've done that, chosen my profile. The next thing here is to insert a DVD to my DVD-ROM and click Open DVD. I will do that now. And navigate down to my DVD drive. I have two here. I will select Rush Hour 2, so I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to select the video underscore TS folder and click OK. And at this point, uh, the software imports that data in here. And you will see it start in a few moments. And there it is. Okay, we're not finished yet. We have one more thing to do, and that's click the convert button. So click that convert button, and you have an opportunity here to give the uh, movie a name. I'll just uh, call it Rush Hour. I'll take all this other stuff out of there. We'll call it just Rush Hour 2. And uh, you can verify where your converted file is going to reside on my desktop in this case. Now, here, uh, you can play with this bar here. This bar here dictates the quality of your output file, your converted file. As a best practice, always leave it at the default settings right in the middle. Uh, if you want a higher quality uh, converted file, you can move this over to your right. And notice what happens to your bitrate as you do that. Right now, the bitrate is set to 740, 754K. I'll give it this for a second to move it over. Your bit rate uh, gets bigger, which means that your your video and audio quality will be higher, but also your file size right here gets larger. Okay, so I always have to keep mine right in the middle, and I find that right there in the middle, the video and audio looks just like this right here when I play it on my iPod or my iPad. All right, so next thing here it says uh, convert from the beginning. Yes. Because right now, we're in the introduction part of the movie right now, and it, it can start at that point and convert it. But no, I want it to go ahead and start from the very beginning. And so your last step here is to go ahead and click Yes. And once you do that, the software will begin to convert that DVD movie into an MP4 file. And if you come down here at the bottom, you're getting some uh, updated information about the progress of the conversion. For, so we're talking about 35 minutes or so. That'll fluctuate, but on average, 35 minutes to convert this particular DVD movie into a .mp4 uh, video file that will play on my iPod. Okay, so rather than have you wait for this entire process to complete, uh, I'll leave it at that. And um, the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and take a look at the video part of it, and I'll show you how you can use that as well. Okay, we're back out on the main graphical user interface, and I just showed you how to use the DVD section to convert DVD movies into one of the many video or audio formats. Next, we're gonna look at the video section. Now, the video section is a carbon copy of the DVD section, with the exception we're not dealing with DVDs. We're dealing with existing video files. For example, we can convert AVI, WMV, many, many video formats into the many popular portable formats that we discussed earlier. I'm going to click on the video button here and we'll enter into the video 
converter section. All right, and here is our graph user interface, and it's very simple to use. What you want to do here is import into here the video file that you want to convert to. So we'll click on open a file, and I'll navigate to a location where I know I have the video file, and I'm going to use Rush Hour. Okay, there it is. In fact, that's the very same file that uh, was produced from the DVD section. So there it is. It's a .mp4. Let's convert that into something different. So we'll come down here and we'll select profile and let's go zoom to. Let's convert that into a .wmv file. So we're going mp4 to a .windows media video file. All right. And once you've done that, you click convert. And over to the left hand side, you can watch the conversion process as it's ongoing. And then down here you have a status bar. Okay, and there it is. So next is to ask me to go ahead and open up the output folder. In my case, it's on the desktop. That's where I put it. So let me pull this over so you can see what I just did. I have two files here, two output files. This is the file that I uh, converted from a DVD in the DVD section. Just to, and to demonstrate, I took that video file and I converted it into a .wmv file. Now, let me play for you a portion of each so you can see the quality of each. All right, this is the one that will play in my iPod. And that's crystal clear. It sounds great. And recall in the DVD section, I had the uh, bitrate bar set in the middle. All right, so let's look at the video that I converted from this. I convert this into a .wmv file, just to demonstrate how you can, you can convert video to different video formats. Let's click on this. Let's open that also in uh, this video player. And uh, that looks great too. stop that. So there you have it. You have uh, KukuSoft's uh, DVD Ripper plus Video Converter Ultimate Suite. I rank this one number one. This is an awesome program. It's very fast and it can convert DVDs to almost any video or audio format and it can also convert video files of any type to almost any other video format and portable devices such as iPods and iPads. Uh, it's an awesome program. Again, this is KukuSoft's DVD Ripper plus Video Converter Ultimate Suite, and this is Arjun Harris from DVDScopy.com. Thank you for listening.